Hello, Brian Myers with Winning Solutions Inc. with another access expert tutorial for you today. Um, today we're going to be covering one of our code samples available from our website www.microsoftaccessexpert.com. You can go to the website and on the left side under code samples, it's emailing from Outlook is the code sample we're going to cover today. You can read up a bit on it here. There's a code sample uh, within the page as well. You can also download a demo version and you can purchase this uh, code sample uh, at the bottom of the page here. So we're going to go ahead and download uh, Access 2007, 2010, 2013 demo version of this by right clicking and saying save link as. I'm going to save it to my desktop here. And that's downloaded so we won't need our browser anymore. And I actually already had a copy of this down, so I'm going to delete my extra copy. Then we're going to need to extract this file um, by right-clicking and selecting Extract All. We're going to go ahead and extract that to the desktop. I've already done this once today, so we're going to just copy and replace the version that I have up there. And it went ahead and opened that for us. So we're going to double click on our Outlook automation demo. Now, uh, something we've added in here to all of our demos is the ability to directly contact us in, in this little pop-up window, just some general information about winning solutions and the various ways you can contact us. We're not going to deal with that window today, so we'll just close that out. And there's an important factor here. I tried this earlier today, as I stated, and I didn't actually have Outlook open. It's important for this uh, function, this code sample to work, that you actually have Outlook open. So I made sure it was open there. And I'm going to do an example here by sending something to myself. There we go. So give that a subject and a title, or a subject and a body here. We'll just put in testing. And we've been provided with a couple of options here. We can attach a file, which is also downloaded a PDF uh, that's also available in the directory. As you can see here, this is just a sample file. Uh, you can set it up to select your own files if you want, or if you need this, this uh, functionality expanded, feel free to contact us. Uh, our contact information is down below. Um, I'm also not in this video covering the error message that you can get when downloading files. Uh, we have an, a separate video on that. I'll, I'll link to that in the description below as well. But let's get back to actually testing this out. So the first thing I'm going to try here is I'm going to try attaching a file and I want to preview the email. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try this with the macro. And Outlook is actually popping up here and saying, oh, there's our preview. So this is actually from Access. We have uh, accessed Outlook and set up an email. Uh, it's got our subject line here, our file that we attached, and our testing text for the body. So then we could just go ahead and click send. I'm going to go ahead and close this and, and we won't save the changes. Um, but now I'm going to try making a little modification here. Put more testing on here. And I'm not going to have it preview this time. I'm just going to going to have it go ahead and send it out and I'm going to use the VBA version of the code by clicking on this button here. And it may look like nothing's happened, but if we go back over to our Outlook email and we'll go to send and receive, so we make sure we get all of our emails here. And there is our testing and more testing example. So it went ahead and accessed our uh, our outlook and sent the email for us. Uh, we'll be posting more videos soon. Be sure to give us a like or subscribe or both if you like. You can hit us up on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and uh, find links in the description below. Thank you very much.